Okay guys, in this video we will fix the error. What is this? No internet. Error internet disconnected. So we one by one we will go through the different solution. One by the solution will definitely help you know this issue and even fix it. So very first thing, check your internet connection. Make sure internet is connected and working fine. You can use the net in your cell phone if you are connected to Wi-Fi. If you are connected to mobile data, you can just uh, contact to the nearby whatever is the service provider for your mobile device. Uh, it's a SIM card. You can contact them and ask them if the network is down or it's working fine. So in one the either way, internet connection should be fine and it needs to be working. So what is the very first reason why we'll be getting this error? In case if you are using any kinds of proxy in your laptop or a mobile device, you are going to use the proper address and proper port. Make sure address and port is correct. If it is not correct or any kinds of issue with the address of the port or mismatch, you can get this error. Next thing that you can try is go to source and you're gonna type control panel. Now we're gonna open the control panel. We'll click on internet, sorry, network and internet. We'll click on internet option. This will open this. We'll click on connection and then we'll click on LAN setting. Here, make sure automatically detect setting is checked. If the box is unchecked, you have to check it. If the box is checked, you have to uncheck it. For the proxy server, you can uncheck it and click on OK. So this work if you are using uh, the LAN, you are using the network cable, you are not connected to the Wi-Fi. If you are accessing internet through network cable, So what you can do is, you can open settings, in settings you can choose the network and internet, finally come down and here you have a network troubleshooter. You can do the finer, yeah, it will fix your minor network issue if it has any kinds of network issue. So now you are going to choose whether you have a problem with the all network adapters, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth connection, V Ethernet. So I'm going to choose all network adapters. Click on next. You can ask you for what kind of network problem you are having. I'm trying to reach a specific website or folder or network. I'm having a different problem. So you can specify it. So you're going to choose any files that has uh, problems. So choose the program that you're trying to connect to this computer. So this will help you fix your issue in a different way. So this is a sample I'm showing you. How you're going to use this network troubleshooter in order to fix the uh, issue. So you can use this step to fix any kinds of network issue. So network issue is one reason why we be getting this error on your web page. So it is asking you to try connecting again. So you are going to follow those steps again. Currently I will be skipping it and closing it. So these are the minor steps that you, you could follow in order to fix any kinds of a specific network issue. You can use this. Uh, network troubleshooter. So network uh, is one of the main reason for getting this error on your web page. So this was a small demo how you gonna use this network troubleshooter. So we'll proceed to the next solution. Sometime you'll be getting this error because of your antivirus or the firewall. So if you're using any kinds of antivirus you can disable it or uninstall it and if you're using a firewall even you can try disabling it. So it's very simple and easy. Go to the source and you're going to search for firewall. 
so here is the firewall windows defender firewall you can open it and you just have to disable it you can see windows defender file is currently turned on here you have option to turn on and off your firewall so some of the website you are trying to access might be blocked by firewall that is why you are not being able to access that website sometimes those websites are considered as a harmful websites if you feel like you trust this website and it is very necessary for you even you can try just turn off the firewall over the public and private network now when you turn off the firewall click on ok and now you just try to access the website it should be working fine again you can come back at any point of time and you can turn on your firewall again it's not a very big deal to turn it on and off so antivirus and firewall is the one reason why we will be getting this error that particular website will be blocking by those antivirus or the firewalls it's the one reason you can try so once again we will open the settings go to network and internet and finally we will come down so what we do is we will go to Wi-Fi click on manage non networks and then you are going to choose your networks and click on forget networks so when you click on forget network it will forget your network and again you will have to uh, restart your PC and re-enter your username and password sorry guys uh, restart your PC and re-enter the password for the Wi-Fi network and your network should be connected and then you can try to browse it this time it should be working fine. the main reason is the internet connection so fix your internet connection your issue will be fixed with the browser and on, other than the internet connections another reason is blocking the website the website might be blocked by firewall or the antivirus another reason is the website might be blocked in that particular geographic region so if you want to access those websites you can try VPN so VPN will help you access those websites uh, you can change the geographic locations and you can try to access sometimes browser keys and cookies will cause the issue so you will click on three dot line and then you will go to history and then you click on clear browsing data go to advanced and here you are going to choose all time and you are going to clear all the keys and the cookies so even this will help you sometime still this issue persist what you are going to do is sometime you can reset your router button so if you have a router uh, from where you are accessing the internet or a Wi-Fi to your different device in your home there will be a reset button you can reset the, uh, click on the reset button to reset your Wi-Fi or sometime even you can turn off your Wi-Fi for a 5 to 10 minutes and turn it on again it will be working you can access those internet so may, if there is the internet issue if the problem is with the internet connections even this is going to help you the next thing that you can try in order to fix this issue is you can update the drivers just give a right click on this PC or my computer and then you click on manage and finally you will go to the device manager and here you have a network driver so here is the network adapter you can update those give a right click on it and you can update the drivers search for the automatically and update the drivers next is the Wi-Fi you can see the Wi-Fi over here so that was uh, other devices so here is the network adapter so, so there are number of multiple network adapters so LAN so Wi-Fi you can just uh, update it give a right click on it and update one by one you can update all the drivers if you drive one by one follow the same procedure and update all the drivers so if this can help you sometime sometime updating your windows also helps click on check for updates 
you're going to check for the necessary updates and update your PC. How it helps is sometimes when you go to update your PC, it will update all the necessary drivers and different desktops. So it is it's a minor uh, issue that is causing uh, some of the minor issues that will be fixed with the updates of different stuff in your PC and that will fix your minor internet issue and you can access your website. In order to fix an uh, internet issue, what you can do is you're going to type cmd, it's a command prompt, so give a right click on it and run as an administrator. Click on yes. And you can run some of the commands over here. That will fix your internet issue. Your internet uh, will be showing that it's connected, and still you will not be able to access those websites and you will have this uh, error in your web page when you try to open it in your browser. So what you can do is run few commands that will fix this uh, issue. So one by one, you're gonna type this command. The very first command that you're gonna type is, so this is the first command that you're gonna type and hit enter key. After executing the commands, you have to restart your computer and come back to the same place. So this is the next command that you're gonna type and hit enter key. So it's done. Again, you have to restart your computer in order for this action to take place. Again, you'll be coming back to the same place. So this is the third command that you'll be typing and press enter key. Finally, the fourth command that you'll be typing is IP config slash renew and press enter key. So after running these commands, you can restart your PC once and try to access. It should be working fine. So all these were the steps that you could follow in order to fix this issue. It's a no internet you'll be getting in your browser while accessing the websites again and again.